Welcome back, everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of our Destiny 2 Shadow Keep Chronicle. Uh, I keep forgetting which chronicle. I think it's Chronicle number five. And today we actually start Shadow Keep proper. We've done Guardian, a Guardian Rises. We've done the Strike, the Disgraced. We've done the Void Spec in that episode that we did the Strike in. And I no longer remember the name of the quest, but we've done the introductory quest to the moon that opens up the Shadow Keep campaign. We're at light, light level 1509. Oops. Ambit points. Earn came in rank points. Okay. Vanguard booster. Okay, they must be having uh, some PvP stuff. Open destinations. Hey, you know what? What, what are we looking like as far as Glimmer? 37,000. And uh, we're at 6% on the pulse rifle. I'm, I'm keeping this weapon on hand in case it... It helps us with our drops. Let's go to the tower. And talk to Ikea, Ikea, <laughs> Ikora Ray. I, keep, I can't get Ikea out of my mind now every time I see her. <laughs> Also check our mailbox while we're here. Yes. Check, check, check. Got a prime Ingram. We'll find out what that was. You look fancy. Nice. It's good to see you alive, Guardian. Tabard. I was wondering. Perhaps a barter is warranted. Ah, see, we're already starting to upgrade past this. That's too bad. We could infuse it, this but war is uh, a complicated algorithm to be certain. I'd rather not spend the upgrade module. We have your back, buddy. I don't want to go double pulse rifles though, so we're gonna stick with the risk runner. I really kind of have a preference for auto rifles and submachine guns. Anything you need? Arc light is the most wild and chaotic of the traveler's gifts, Ikora says, but its unpredictable nature is a strength. A tool to be used to sow discord in the forces of darkness. She holds out a hand and snaps her fingers, casting a crackle of sparks into the air. You feel a faint hum as the energy washes over you. Guardians of all orders wield this power. Warlock storm callers, titan strikers, hunter arc striders. Join them and let our enemies feel the charge of your light. That's an emblem. Okay. Oh, and then we got the uh, Breaker's Blaze as well. I see you've grown accustomed to your new powers. The lingering flame of solar light has consumed many of my foes, Ikora says with a smile. For a moment, you think you see a flicker of red and orange in the depths of her gaze, but she blinks and it's gone. 
The nature of solar light is to grow, she continues. It is an ember that must be stoked. Kindle it with your enemies, guardian, and wielders of the flame will welcome you. Be they Titan Sunbreakers, Warlock Dawn Blades, or Hunter Gunslingers. Okay, and then open this up. Purchase Echo of Dilation. Very well. The weakness is the center of the shield. Perhaps in the center of their mind. Okay. So we are done with that. Um. Pulse rifle. Pulse rifle. I just need something that'll work. I don't care how it looks. Come on. Come take a look. Everything depends. Everyone, a moment. And go to destinations. Move to the moon. And let's begin. Shadow keep. I just need something that'll work. Investigate the strange hive behavior near the scarlet keep. How much is that? Okay, it looks like we gotta go down this way. is being overrun in this area. So this should be step one of 19. All right, Eris, where to? The pyramid's warding is only a temporary inconvenience. We must first understand how it works if we're to pass through it. For that, the Hive may provide answers. For eons, they live next to the pyramid. And now, they've constructed that Scarlet Keep above it. Its existence was clearly no secret to them. Now that it's activated, strange congregations of Hive have begun to appear on the moon. There is undoubtedly a connection. And that's where we start. bit of everybody on this planet, huh? Or on this moon. The Hive are preparing a ritual near your location. 
see that it fails spectacularly. Got fallen, vex, and hive. We found it. It appears to be a ritual of some kind. We must learn its purpose. Do not be afraid to engage the hive. Six wizards have been defeated. They dropped that witch. Rune tablets collected, one of six. Okay, so I... And there's four of eight nightmares. Okay, and that's no longer marked. Six room tablets, six of eight nightmares have been eliminated.
field out there. seemingly I think I was just too busy looking at the screen that that was a little chaotic proceed to the last altar and face the final nightmare which is starting right now Grenade available. my shield that blew him up. I think he got hit by somebody else a lot more powerful than me. Because that dude that I was working on got nuked. I think I can maybe best help the team by reducing ads over here. Well, somebody else is doing that as well. It's this guy that's creating these fire. I think those are uh, wells, sunlight wells. Time to check our equipment. We're only 10% up on this. Well, yeah, I need to go back and I need to primary that. 1505. I don't really use sniper rifles either.
What do you look like? Normal. I've seen some people with some wicked looking ghosts, man. Some really cool looking ones. You are a little bit better. Oh yeah, that up here, 1505. Okay, you're better as well. One energy, so let's go resilience. All right, 27, 44, 48, 22, eight, <laughs> and 61. Contact Eris Morn. Okay, she a uh, little ways away. Think we can? Oh, cannot access while in an, an activity. In search of answers, contact Eris Morn. my grenade too by dying. Altar such sorrow, nightmares eliminated one of four. Oh man, it sounds like I just had kind of bad timing here. And this is this is started up again. That was that was fast considering I didn't stop a single one of the altars. I'm confused. Obviously something happened here that is perfectly logical, but it is beyond my understanding of destiny too. That threw me for a loop. Even if other players came in and helped out, the likelihood that Eris, all four went the down at the same time. The hive are trying to draw them in for the ritual. How curious. For what purpose? It's unclear, but they don't seem affected by the nightmares at all. Not like we are. Fascinating. We must learn how they've achieved that. That's our key to finding a way beyond the pyramid's world. <laughs> Eris? Those screams. That's a hype wizard. We have to hurry. A nightmare of Omnigul has stormed through the lunar encampment. Return to Sanctuary to speak with Eris Morn. Okay. Okay, I'm standing inside another player. Okay, I am going to save it here. 
Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we're on step two of 19. I'm going to stop the recording right here. That'll give me a chance to check the audio because game audio sounded pretty loud in my headphones. I want to make sure that uh, game and voice audio are balanced. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. And I'll see you then where the story continues.